The tale of ancient Greece is a dramatic saga that unfolds over centuries, starting with a civilization that was not actually Greek. The first sparks of advanced culture in the region can be traced back to the Minoans on the island of Crete, which emerged around 2600 BC. The Minoans, who were most likely seafaring traders, built an advanced and vibrant society, boasting palatial complexes, developed art and a system of writing. However, the society we refer to as Ancient Greece did not truly begin until the end of the Greek Dark Ages, a period of decreased population and cultural activity in the area that spanned from about 1100 BC to 800 BC. This was the time when the Homeric epics, the Iliad and the Odyssey are believed to have been composed, the tales of which echoed the events of the much earlier Bronze Age collapse and Heroic Age. The late 8th century BC marks the dawn of the Archaic period, the beginning of what we traditionally think of as Ancient Greece. It's during this time that the Greeks developed the city-state, or polis, and the rise of these independent, self-governing city-states like Athens, Sparta and Corinth brought with it an increase in commerce, industry and cultural interchange. The birth of ancient Greece, therefore, was not a single event, but rather a gradual organic process of cultural evolution. Just as intriguing, though, is how this scattered archipelago of city-states without a central authority or a single unified political entity went on to create a culture whose impact still resonates through the corridors of time. The realm of ancient Greece is no stranger to oddities and happenings, as it's filled with compelling stories, obscure beliefs and astonishingly advanced ideas. So let's pull back the veil of time and unveil some intriguing instances of mysterious coincidences one of the most intriguing tales surrounds the city of Athens and the mythology of its patron deity, Athena. According to the myth, both Athena and Poseidon, the god of the sea, wanted to be the patron of the city. They agreed that whoever gave the city the best gift would win the privilege. Poseidon struck the ground with his trident and produced a spring, while Athena offered an olive tree. The Athenians chose Athena's gift as the olive tree provided food, oil and wood. Incredibly, to this day, Athens remains a city dotted with olive trees and the olive branch is a universal symbol of peace, a core tenet of Athena's domain. Another fascinating coincidence involves the great philosopher Socrates. Socrates is remembered for his unique approach to philosophy and for his stoic acceptance of his death sentence, a consequence of his philosophical teachings which Athens' authorities perceived as corrupting the city's youth. Interestingly though, Socrates never wrote down his teachings. We know of his ideas and methods only because his student Plato chose to write them down. If Plato had not made that choice, Socrates' groundbreaking methods and philosophies might have been lost to time. The Antikythera mechanism presents yet another astonishing coincidence. Discovered in a shipwreck off the Greek island of Antikythera, this intricate device of gears and dials dating back to the second century BC is often considered the world's first analog computer. It was used to predict astronomical positions and eclipses decades in advance. The existence of such a complex device at a time when human understanding of the mechanics necessary for its construction was thought to be primitive is truly a mysterious coincidence. Ancient Greece's contributions to the world are vast and varied, spreading across numerous fields. From the way we structure our governments to how we philosophize about the cosmos, the ripple effects of their ingenuity can still be felt today. Democracy is perhaps one of the most significant contributions of the Greeks. In 508 BC, the city-state of Athens adopted a system of government where every male citizen had an equal vote, pioneering a revolutionary idea that would later serve as the foundation of many modern democracies. The Greeks also made significant strides in the realm of mathematics. Pythagoras is credited with the famous theorem in geometry that still carries his name, while Euclid's Elements became one of the most influential works in the history of mathematics. Medicine, too, was revolutionized by Hippocrates and his followers. Known as the father of medicine, Hippocrates developed a code of ethics for physicians that is still referenced today. His emphasis on observation and logical reasoning set the groundwork for the scientific method. Let's not forget the extraordinary work of Greek engineers. Archimedes, often referred to as the greatest mathematician of antiquity, invented the screw pump, which is still used in modern times. Heron of Alexandria, another inventive mind, 
is known for creating the first recorded steam engine, the Eoli Pio. The Olympic Games' epic poems, timeless plays, stunning architectural styles. The concept of an atom, these are but a fraction of what the Greeks achieved. It's safe to say that the ancient Greeks were not only philosophers and warriors, but also inventors, mathematicians, architects and pioneers in countless other fields that shaped the world we know today. The story of the fall of ancient Greece isn't as straightforward as the rise and fall of a single entity, because Greece wasn't a unified nation as we know it today, but rather a collection of city-states. The decline of these city-states and consequently the fall of ancient Greece was due to a myriad of factors. One significant factor was the costly and relentless warfare between the city-states themselves. The most famous of these conflicts was the Peloponnesian War, 431-404 BC, a grueling 27-year war between Athens and Sparta, two of the most powerful city-states in Greece at the time. The war ended with the defeat of Athens and left much of Greece economically drained and physically devastated. Meanwhile, the rise of the Kingdom of Macedon under the leadership of Philip II posed another significant threat. Philip II's militaristic expansion policies marked the end of the classical period of ancient Greece. His son, Alexander the Great, continued this expansion, effectively shifting the power center from the city-states of mainland Greece to the vast Macedonian Empire. The death of Alexander in 323 BC resulted in a power vacuum that led to a period of war and division known as the Wars of the Diadochi, which further weakened the Greek city-states. As this internal strife weakened Greece, the growing power of Rome to the west saw an opportunity. In the following centuries, Greece would face multiple invasions from the Roman Republic and eventually became a part of the Roman Empire after the Battle of Corinth in 146 BC. With this, the cultural and political dominance of ancient Greece came to an end. However, the impact of Greek culture and ideas on Rome was so profound that it significantly shaped the civilization of Rome, giving birth to a cultural fusion known as Greco-Roman culture. Therefore, while the political entity of ancient Greece fell, its rich intellectual and cultural legacy continued to thrive and echo throughout the world, shaping the very foundations of Western civilization. The question of the origins of the Greeks, or Hellenes as they called themselves, is one deeply entwined with archaeology, linguistics and history. Early Greece was inhabited by various tribal peoples, and it's from these Bronze Age cultures that the later Greeks likely emerged. The Minoans, flourishing on the island of Crete from around 2000 to 1400 BC, and the Mycenaeans, present on the Greek mainland from around 1600 to 1100 BC, are two of the most significant. It's the Mycenaeans who are traditionally associated with the heroes of Homer's Iliad and Odyssey, legendary tales set in the late Bronze Age. Genetic studies show that modern Greeks are genetically closely related to the Mycenaeans but with some additional dilution of the early Neolithic ancestry. The Mycenaeans themselves were closely related to the earlier Minoan civilization, which was a civilization that flourished on the island of Crete. Significant population movements in the Aegean and wider Mediterranean, especially during the so-called Dark Ages following the collapse of the Mycenaean civilization, likely also played a role in the formation of the Greek ethnic identity. The arrival of the Dorians, a Greek-speaking people who migrated into the area from the north around 1100 BC, was particularly influential. Their dialect and culture were somewhat different from the earlier Mycenaeans, and their arrival marked the beginning of what we know as Classical Greece. In essence, the origins of the Greeks are a blend of indigenous developments and external influences, the result of a complex process of cultural evolution and migration that took place over many centuries. This intricate past, reflecting the ebb and flow of different peoples, sets the stage for the cultural richness that is synonymous with ancient Greece. Ancient Greece, though far removed in time, still reaches out and influences our world in profound and enduring ways. It's a testament to the extraordinary creativity, insight and ambition of this influential civilization that even today, in our technologically advanced age, we continue to rely on and appreciate the monumental legacies of the ancient Greeks. Greek philosophical thought, spearheaded by great thinkers like Socrates, Plato and Aristotle, underpins much of Western philosophy today. Their inquiries into morality, metaphysics, epistemology and aesthetics shaped our understanding of these fields.
Their teachings continue to spark debates and provide the groundwork for philosophical discourse to this day. Greek advancements in political structures, notably the concept of democracy, have also left an indelible mark on the world. The system of government pioneered in the city-state of Athens, where all citizens could vote on important matters, laid the groundwork for modern democratic societies. Despite its flaws and limitations by modern standards, this early experiment in collective decision-making was revolutionary for its time and continues to inform contemporary politics. The influence of ancient Greece is also palpable in the realm of arts and culture. The Greek tradition of storytelling, as seen in the epic poems of Homer, has shaped much of Western literature. The Greek theatre tradition, with its tragedies and comedies, serves as a model for contemporary playwrights and filmmakers. Even our modern Olympic Games owe their existence to the athletic competitions held in Olympia over two millennia ago. Greek scientific and mathematical contributions are another significant legacy. Pythagoras, Euclid and Archimedes are just a few of the great minds who made groundbreaking advancements in geometry, physics and engineering, some of which are still taught in schools today. I hope you enjoyed our video today and as always, thanks for watching.